Hello, I'm CJ Jackson and I'm Fish Boss, and today we're at Billingsgate Market, which is my fishy spiritual home. At one time, Billingsgate was the largest fish market in the UK, dealing with 400 tonnes of fish a day, with a thousand porters moving the fish off boats and off the back of carts into the market. Today, Billingsgate is still unique as the largest inland fish market in the UK, selling a large range of global species from over 60 countries as far afield as New Zealand, Sri Lanka and Brazil. What somebody did do this year was try bringing in some New Zealand eels and they were flown in first class because they came in live, but he had to have a license for them, so they put a little bit of a stop to that. There can be over 150 species of fish coming through the doors every month. That one is a beautiful hate. This is a mackerel, sardines, pilchards, this is octopus. This is a place. There are over 250 tonnes of fish and shellfish sold weekly. 50% of the seafood that we consume is farmed. What do you think would be the most extensively farmed fish globally? It's carp. But the wild seafood available on the market is never guaranteed. Somebody has to hunt them out and catch them first. Pole and line caught. That is not net. It's somebody there with a pole and line bringing the fish in. So it's important to be flexible. Do you know, I've been working down here for so many years and still get excited about fresh fish. There's nothing I enjoy more than showing people around the market and identifying all the species of seafood on offer and choosing the best fish of the day. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Really lovely. One of the best things on this market for me is coming here at five o'clock in the morning, they all start at four, and having a, good morning, CJ. Morning, you all right? Yeah, good morning, how are you? Morning. Hello, CJ, good morning. Hello, love, how are you? Very well, thank you. I've made a lot of friends down here, and this is a really, really special place for me. Come on, let's take a gander. This man is normally very cheeky, but anyway. Not me. Right, ta-da! Beautiful, fresh cake. What I want to do is show you how to uh, choose the best fresh fish possible. This fish hasn't been out of water for more than about 24 hours. Absolutely rigid with rigor mortis. We call it stiff alive here on the market. Those gills are a lovely, lovely deep red color. When that fish loses condition, they actually go brown. We've got lovely bright eyes there. All key markers for the best quality fish. Hello, Mo. Hello. How are you? OK, I've got a couple of flatfish here. This is a Dover sole. This is a lemon sole. Dover sole's got a really rough skin. They call it mother-in-law's tongue down here. I have got clean hands, I promise. A lemon sole's got this little tiny bit of yellow piping around by the gills. Lemon. Better put it back for these things, I've stolen it. We have an issue with eels at the moment. Uh, since we went through Brexit, Holland, where they farm them, they're not allowed to bring them in anymore. Uh, but these are from Ireland. Now, we've had one member of the royal family down here. He was persuaded to try one. He tried it and had to go around to the loo to spit it out because it was not his favourite thing. Such a popular East End tradition. Yep. Wow, look at that. Do you like it? I might go and use that toilet you were talking about. That's all right. <laughs> uh, look, my, my nice dress. Very good. Yes, fish boss. Me, fish and bossy. Those are two that go well together. That would be perfect for a one-person meal. Amazing beasties. They've got little bands on their claws to prevent having a punch up in the tank. One of the best things you can eat on the market. OK, what I have here are razor clams. Good morning. Sorry, someone's waving at me. The Japanese love these. The Chinese love these. And they call them willies. OK, so what I'm going to do now is show you a farmed turbot. Slightly different colour. The bumps on this are barely recognisable and the colour's slightly different. And if I flip the fish over, there's a lot of mottling on the underside. So if you see that one, in comparison to the wild one, which is very white underneath and has got these sharp barbs, that's the difference between the two. Boys don't really like fish. They don't like fish. They don't like fish. No, they don't like fish. It's a disaster. Right, let's talk about sustainability. What I have here is a box of warm water prawn which have been farmed. A few years ago, I would have been a bit concerned about buying these, but the Marine Conservation Society, who look at everything that we eat as far as seafood is concerned, encourages us to look at accreditation. And BAP means best 
aquaculture practice, and that's one of the logos I'd look for. And therefore, people who are worried about eating farm product, that's a thing to look for, and you can buy with confidence. I'm Fish Boss, and I'm going to show you the iconic Billingsgate Market breakfast, which is scallops, scallop, scallop. I call them scallops. Some people call them scallops. I think it doesn't matter. Seared with bacon in a toasted English muffin. For me, they're one of the best seafoods to eat. They're very subtle flavoured, they're not overly fishy, uh, and they've got a lovely meaty texture. Oh my goodness me, they smell delicious. A minute on either side, dill butter on there, nice colour on there. I've got a crew to feed. Long day. And marriage together perfectly, doesn't it? And Robin, there's one for you. <laughs> a pleasure. And it's a wrap for today.